Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we put those two videos every single week. I couldn't even get my part down. <laughs> Just like it's taking a nap right now, and we are leaving on our cruise in two days. Mm -hmm. So I figured, why not just do a Q&A? So the first question is, in the beginning, were you guys shy farting to each other? <laughs> <laughs> we broke the barrier. Daddy broke the barrier first. Uh, if you guys want to know, I farted in front of her first. Okay, next question. How did you meet? How long have you been together? So I was funny enough, Lillian just asked me this question last night. Mm -hmm. Do you remember where mom and daddy met? A track. And then when daddy and grandmother passed away, then mommy said, um, what did you do say? I said, I'll keep you company. And then we became really good friends. And then what happened? What and did then daddy you say? Got, you got married with me. Y'all are so solid. What advice do you offer? Me and Lucas are just best friends at this point. We just bounce off each other. We just work so well. So mm -hmm. definitely the best, best, best thing I can say is communication. Right. Let this person know when you feel off. Let the person know when you feel like anxious, you know, and they will work with you. We cover each other's weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So it's like if one person's tired, the other person will pick up the slack. Mm -hmm. And we like, we're very good about that. It's kind of like being very with the flow. Mm -hmm. I think that helps. Someone said, are you a Die Hard Black Friday shopper or your online shopper? I'm definitely an online shopper. Lillian, how does it feel to be a big sister? What do you like to do with your son? I like to help him like mm -hmm. when he's alone. I kind of feel bad, so I go and play with him a little bit. He was like, tr in the park, he was trying to get a leave and he couldn't, so I pulled some out from him and gave it to him. Aww. That was so sweet of you. And how does it feel being a big sister? It feels really great to be a big sister. It Aww. does? Huh? All right, when are you going to have a third child? We are trying for a third, but it's not happening. How do you feel about that? I'm gonna steal someone's baby. Oh! We're going to pick that out. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? I love turkey when it's really seasoned right. A good mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese, you're mm -hmm. right. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? I'm going to tell you what I don't like first. All right, go ahead. What I don't like is mashed potatoes. It's so good. You don't like turkey either? No, I don't like real turkey. A real turkey cut in pieces? No, ma'am. <laughs> no thanks. What's your favorite thing about yourself? I like that I kind of like play with my brother and get along with him a lot. You like that? How kind you are? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. What would you like to be when you grow up, Lily? I'm going to be like three things. Okay. A ballerina. Okay. A, a gymnastic coach. Okay. And a teacher. Okay. Those are some solid answers. I'm always interested to see what she says because it changes each time. It does. I like those. Stuff. She actually, you really want to be a teacher, huh? Are you okay? Thanks. Is your throat okay? So oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are your top three things you want for Christmas? Like top? Yeah. <gasps> a hamster that can run around like and it has a little cage. And the uh, number two, a very, very, very cute Barbie. The a bunch of pretty puppets. Puppets? Yeah, those are my three tops. All right, Lily, what is one thing you love about yourself? Uh, I said that already. Okay, ready? It's um the I'm really nice to people, and I like play with my brother. I like being nice. That's. Like I love that about you too. Mm -hmm. I love that you're kind. Hello, my beautiful niece Lillian. I've been working so hard at your gymnastics. Do you have any desire to be in? The Olympics, do you have a favorite event skill? Oh, and are you teaching your brother how to flip? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite event is vault. That's my one top favorite event. My favorite skill is the back hip circle. It's funny, you do like the back hip circle. Yes. Okay, I'm That's gonna good. go give one a snack. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna get Pause a snack, sorry. No, 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 don't pause it. I'm gonna go get a snack. I am back with my two snacks. <laughs> my mom just sat on my snack. I did? Oh, my butt did sit on it, girl. Million, when you were at school, do your class realize that you're loved by so many people? Do they know about your Arnold fam? No. They don't? Okay. They, don't know no. they don't know you're famous? Well, you know a lot of people love you mm -hmm. online. Comment down below if you want me. Push the subscribe button mm -hmm. if you really like this video at the end. <laughs> we didn't tell you guys about her new school. She's gonna start soon. As you guys know about our Miss Lillian, um, so we decided to check out one of these private schools that are um, not too far from us. And they were uh, very rigorous. And we explained about Lillian. They made Lillian come out for three days. Mm -hmm. It's super close. It's like in Tampa, so mm -hmm. we can go to Push Gardens, mm -hmm. the 
Glacier Museum because mm -hmm. it's everything's in Tampa, so we so we're gonna be out and about. We're gonna be out and about. Only we're gonna come home by nighttime. That's right. it. We did a lot of prayers. We talked with Melina about it, and then we went to the school and we told them like about Melina, and they said like whatever the process that they have to pretty much trust them in their process. Because I was a little nervous about like I don't know like what to do with Melina. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, they're very very picky too, which is really cool that they um, they end up sending us a letter and they accept her in their private school And yeah. not only that they're actually going to um, grade accelerate her Yeah, um, so Lillian is starting the first grade in two weeks. So it's really excited I'm actually a little nervous because you know I didn't I, I didn't know if I was like I don't know how I feel about like grade acceleration at this point um, Actually was on like the other side of grade acceleration my mom I'm gonna go show you the doll she gave me. I did give her a doll. Because she's starting a new school. I don't know how I feel about great acceleration. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm still kind of nervous about it. If you if you have been or your child has been great accelerated and it worked out really, really well, let me know in the comments below. We're moving in, she got me this cute doll. Yeah, so I got her this cute doll because she got it into the private school. Mm -hmm. So I was a little nervous about it. Um it's actually Lucas. Like I was like, I don't know, but yeah. I know they were like, listen, like you're gonna have to trust us and we know what we're doing and you know, there's gonna be other uh, five girls in that classroom because this school is a little bit um, higher, like an advanced school. And so they said like, um, there's other kids like Lily in that school and in that first grade classroom. So she wouldn't be the only five year old, which that was my biggest thing. I was like nervous. I'm like, I don't want her to be like, there'll be like other, there were seven year olds at that point because people turn seven in first grade. Right. And she just turned five. So in August, so I was like really nervous, but but I'm gonna trust them and I'm trust God in the process because we did everything just fitting in perfectly. Class size only four kids in the first grade classroom. Mm -hmm. Since the class size is so small, she'd be able to get more attention. Um, the academics is only 45 minutes versus 90 minutes, like in public and charter. And so they spend a lot of times with like music, art. They spend a lot more time like outside versus strictly academics. Right. But the academic time, when they do academics, it's, it's like rigorous. it's rigorous yeah. academics. But they do a lot so. of hands-on, a lot of projects, a lot of like delving deep into subjects, which is, is what we want. That's which what we, we like. wanted, yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you more about this, more about it later after Lily's done, so she can run around. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. What are you gonna say? So like in my old school for art, they just like just color. Mm -hmm. They just color two pictures and then we're done. Okay. So what do you do with new Spanish, school? Spanish, we watch videos. Oh, really? Spanish. Old school or new school? Oh, how do we do for new school? Mm -hmm. We actually learn words, like colors. In Spanish? Yeah. What about for art? So we actually paint pictures of nature. Oh, yeah, see? We went outside and we painted bamboo trees. So we made, we can make skinny ones that kind of are leaning to the side. Mm -hmm. Big fat ones, like mm -hmm. side, 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 side. Mm -hmm. And then like medium, just punch, 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 <laughs> punch, punch. And was it fun? Yeah, and then we did the tree top. The small one was really tall. Mm -hmm. The big one was really short. And the medium was like in the middle. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because like when you went there, the, the, that day, she was like, today was the best day, I had such a fun Aww. day. So yeah. you really enjoyed it, didn't you? So I said today was a good day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Today, today was a really, really, really good, good day. day. Today was a good day, ask. Oh, somebody said, Lily, do you want your own Instagram and YouTube channel? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, which one do you want? Do you want Instagram where you do TikToks and Reels? Or do you want to do YouTube where you go, hi guys, how are you doing? Which one? Oh. What would you do on your Instagram or TikTok? Um, I would like... Instagram and TikTok? Yeah. I'll just like, look at people's videos and then do them randomly. It was video, I'll just do it. I already have like my own Instagram. It's called Prince the Princess Lillian. I'm 100. You want 100 people to follow you? Yes. Okay, so 100 people. You guys have to follow me on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you think you look more like your mama or dada? <laughs> um, I kind of look like daddy. You look like daddy? Yeah. yeah I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I don't look more like my brother. You do look more like your you brother. You guys are like, could be twins. You're like twins. <laughs> You're right. And you and Auntie Becca, I couldn't even guess what woman was you. How often do you visit Auntie Becca at her new home? Like, only one time. Only one time, yeah. We gotta get well, out there. After the holidays, hopefully, we'll be able to make a trip out there. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas, definitely. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, probably continue social media. I'm probably doing like part-time for speech, because I really enjoy it. 
Um, but then this season will be a little more stable because just like will be seven, a little bit yeah. ten. So I feel like right now with like them being so little, the sickness is all around, just switching mm. around schools, like understanding like what's going on with like the beginning stages. I think it's a little bit stressful, so it's really nice that we have social media so we can work from home and We're then flexible. and, and fle be flexible with like all the changes in life. But by seven and ten, I feel like everything will be a lot more stable, so I can be able to do more part time and also do social media. Right. What do you think? Like I don't know what it's called consistent. I want in five years, I want to have everything down pat consistent. I think it will help with them being older. Okay, so what is your favorite holiday? Oh, what's my favorite holiday? Good question. My favorite holiday is definitely Christmas. I feel like I love the change of weather, I love the lights, I love the decoration, I love the t togetherness of the feeling. Mm -hmm. um, it just makes me, I feel like overall happier um, during the season. Right. Okay, Daddy, what is yours? Well, my favorite holiday is Christmas too, it has to be. Christmas hey. time is the best time of year. Hey, beautiful girls. <laughs> hey, beautiful girls. <laughs> hey, beautiful girls. <laughs> Thank you. One, what is your zodiac sign? I am a Gemini. She's a Leo. Josiah is a Leo and... I'm a Libra. Libra. All right, so we're going to go have food because we're all starving. starving. Don't forget, 100 of you are gonna subscribe to my Instagram if you like it. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> right, we haven't posted anything yet. Right. But maybe if you post something on there, they'll like it. Bye, guys. Uh, you go ahead, get, 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 go ahead, get go the ahead, camera. Go ahead. Not too hard. Not too hard. <laughs> Good.